Hi, I'm Hank Whedon, a 40 plus year resident of Summerlin. And uh, having spent a career in uh, abalone diving, when uh, the uh, business was shut down in 97 by the state, the uh, children told me I had to get a real job and put me to work with local 442 of the International Stage and Theatrical Union which has turned into a, uh, a wonderful experience and how I sedged into uh, props while uh, in that and what an incredible experience it's been. And of course, uh, we've managed to accumulate some props. <laughs> and we can show you around and uh, show you some examples. Uh, these were from uh, Cusi Fantuti at the uh, Libero, and uh, of course, when it comes to props, we have nautical, and uh, I'll have to show you the trees out front. Did you collect these and props? These, these are ones that I made for the show, and. Uh, When was that? What do you remember? That's what I was <laughs> the timeline. Uh, gosh, not really. Probably uh, that was at least probably ten years ago. And how were these forks used? This was uh, when they were uh, by the extras on stage, and. Uh, this was at the uh, Libero prior to uh, San Opera Santa Barbara moving to the Granada. So it was uh, a great experience at the Libero. And uh, let me show you some of the... Uh, well, here. On, let me get this out of here. This is a uh, hillbilly surfboard that was uh, made for the surf rodeo in Ventura. My daughter is one of the producers. And we have the cross from Fra Angelica that uh, we did at the Libero. And of course, the trees. Though those we used for an opera we did at the Firestones in San Inez, Golden Girl of the West by Puccini, that uh, was great fun. The uh, go through the script and get a general idea from the director what uh, he's looking for. and go from there and try and give them options you know and tell when you can when you realize exactly what they want then it's easy it's just uh, make it play the union here in Santa Barbara were the County Bowl the libero the Arlington the Granada were our really our primary venues as well as some of the outlying shows in San Luis and Thousand Oaks. But uh, the uh, venues here in Santa Barbara are certainly special. They were uh, a great experience and a uh, terrific crew. Where did you construct most of your props? Did you have a workshop? Many of the, uh, of the venues, uh, uh, the Granada, the Arlington, 
have areas where uh, you can work. The uh, Libero had the uh, workshop out back, so that it was possible to construct a number of them on site. And of course, I constructed a number of them here at home. And in what year did you start constructing props? Well, probably in, uh, I think, let's see, 97. Nine, so it's probably went into the Union in 98 and uh, worked the various uh, areas and that, but uh, really sedged into uh, props because I had experience with uh, a lot of uh, prop uh, gear from doing swap meets and antiques and that. So I was familiar with the different eras, and, uh, which was a great plus, and I really enjoyed uh, doing props, especially for Opera Santa Barbara. Could you discuss some of the skills it takes to be a good prop person? You talked about knowledge of eras. Was that important when you were staging different well, era ex plays? Well, exactly. When you're uh, knowing the setting of the uh, opera or the play, and that whether it was the 1800s, uh, the 20s, or that you uh, wanted props that fit the era. And uh, that was uh, part of the fun of it, was uh, finding them, if not making them. But, uh, it, uh, <laughs> yeah. Age ladder was from the Arlington Theater originally, and it sat on a pallet, and you'd have a stage hand on each side for ballast, and I'd be up at the top of the ladder straddling it, and they'd push you across the stage, and you'd do the light focus, so you have to have both your hands free, and the uh, I was trying to think when that was that the, uh, uh, was it the EPA, but the, uh, they banned them from uh, stage use as being too dangerous, and then everyone went to scissor lifts. And, uh, but uh, these were a real experience. <coughs> that was a, uh, a harbor from a, a harbor scene. I can't remember the name of the uh, opera. But I had netting and some of the old uh, trunks and that they were used for props. Who, last time I saw him, he's getting up to thirty thousand dollars a copy for some of his carvings. that are just spectacular. So many, uh, so many shows. <laughs> of course, I found that uh, retirement is another illusion. That means you work more for less. It's, Dad, could you bring some surfboards down for the show? <laughs> I don't even get gas money. <laughs> But my real love is beachcombing, and uh, that was one of my goals in life was to walk the entire coast of California. And uh, I've come fairly close. <laughs>